convinced I had it. Throw it home! Throw it home! Stop that ball! Miss Butler, it's happened again. Another letter. You get more mail delivered to my office than I do. Sorry, sir, but it is fairly common to use one's work address for... <gasps> Plans for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration! NASA? No doubt some decals you sent away for. You just make sure it doesn't happen again. What is it, Gretch? NASA's annual science essay contest. Out of thousands of entries, they picked mine as the best in the country. Man, that must have been one cool essay. Indeed. It was entitled Space, the definitive low-temperature, zero-gravity, sterile laboratory. Maybe cool isn't the right word for it. So what'd you win, Gretchen? I'm not sure. It's kind of confusing. Let me see that. Due to your insight, complex analytical thinking, and impressive penmanship, you have been selected to be part of the next U.S. Space Shuttle mission. Part of the next mission? But that means... Gretchen's gonna be the first kid in space. Wow. Me, the first kid in space. I wonder what it'll be like up there. Hey, I got a feeling I know exactly what it's gonna be like being the first kid going up. After getting shaken up like a can of pop during blastoff, it's goodbye gravity, hello history. One giant leap for Kid Khan. Woohoo! Look at me! I'm a crazy floating monkey boy! <laughs> You kill me. But isn't it time you told us about our mission? Our mission? It's scrapped. Out with dull science, in with bold adventure. But, sir, our orders. Blast our orders. Lieutenant, full power to thrusters. Hang on to something, people. Going to Mars. <laughs> yep, I get a big lump in my throat every time I think about it. Now I've gotten a big lump in the pit of my stomach. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't do it. Can't do it? Gretch, wait up! Gretchen, what are you talking about? You heard me, TJ. I'm not going up. But why? It's every kid's dream. Come on, TJ, look at me. To be an astronaut, you've got to have the right stuff. You've got to be tough. You've got to be strong. Nessa has no idea what sort of gaggly, awkward physical specimen they've selected. As soon as they see me, they'll reject me for sure. Look, Gretchen, my room at home is jammed with toys and models of NASA spacecraft, from Mercury to the shuttle and beyond. I've read every kid's book about space, even one with no pictures. I know everything there is to know about astronaut training. And Gretchen Grundler, I swear to you, as I play and breathe, when I'm finished training you, you will be ready for NASA. You read a book with no pictures? Okay, TJ Detweiler, you have yourself a deal. Well, Gretch, I hope you had a big breakfast. Your official pre-astronaut training is about to begin. I appreciate this, TJ. You're really going above and beyond the call of duty. No, Gretch, the duty is all yours. Gus, strap her in. Astro candidate secured, sir. Ready, Gretch? Uh, well... Ground crew, let her rip! I take it the aim of this is to simulate the effects of G-forces during launch! There's that. Plus, I want to see how long you can stick out up there before you trip your ships. Watch to the Sorry, guys. That was certainly mm, unpleasant. You kidding? That was cool! You booted worse than Randall on Fish Chowder Day! No shame in it, Gretch. Happens to every rocket jockey in the early stages of training. I don't know. I'm feeling a little lightheaded from the spinning. Maybe we should call it a day. No way! Real astronauts never call it a day. Don't worry, I won't let you fail. On the other hand, I am gonna let you get off your feet. Usually when one is off one's feet, one is sitting or lying down. Not when one is an astronaut trainee. At NASA, off your feet means just one thing. Simulated weightlessness. Ground crew, ready for simulation. Check, training commander Detweiler. Uh, guys, I'm not so sure about this. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Ah! Gee, look, I'm Peter Pan! Stop fooling around, Grundler. You're an astronaut, not a cartoon character. Oh, yes, of course, sorry. Ready for continued weightlessness training, sir? That's the spirit. Okay, begin asteroid belt simulation test. Asteroid belt? But TJ! No! Whoa! Ah! Watch it! Ow! Playground, we have a problem. I'm telling you, TJ, the likelihood of the shuttle encountering asteroids is practically nil. Hey, you have to be ready for every eventuality. How about the eventuality of taking a nap? I'm exhausted. Uh-uh-uh. You can sleep during the ticker tape parade. Right now, we got more training to do. Gus, the first sample. Here you go, Gretchen. A scientifically formulated advanced multi-nutritional food stick. Much like the ones you'll be eating in space. <sighs> Smells suspiciously like a skinny jitty jerky stick. Maybe that's because it is? I'll pass, Gus. I'm not partial to dried meats. Why, the nitrates alone. Nonsense. Just wash it down with what Vince is mixing up. Bottoms up, Gretch. What's this? Say, official drink of the astronauts. Curious. I've never heard of it. That's because I just invented it. But if you drink it in space, then it's...